what is up guys I hope everyone is doing all right now in today's video I will be giving an insight on a Python project my fellow group members and I did we were tasked with solving a societal problem with the use of Python so we came up with the idea with an automated voting system as our project idea we came up with this idea because we want to venture into a new ICT system for voting in the future elections of our country we are currently using a traditional paper-based system to vote. Now our project will be performing the following. 1. Having an interface for voters to vote for their party. 2. It will be collecting votes in their respective party text files. 3. It will also be totaling the votes and printing them to screen along with other sub-processes as we go along. Now the first thing we did was import the time and the date. The time and the date will be shown in the interface. The next is we will de define the main function which will be our main codes. We also assign each since no voting has begun. And also the program will be in a loop. So we assign loop equals zero to make the program run infinitely. Now we go. Now this right here will be the interface the voters will be seeing. Now, this consists of the date, the time, the parties, and a prompter which will be looking for the entry of the voter. Before we continue any further, we will check in to see the entry of the voter is valid or invalid. Now, if the entry is greater than 9 or less than 1, that entry will be considered invalid. And that invalid will be saved to an invalid text file. And also give an output your entry is invalid. Now, if the entry is valid, that means if the entry is less than 10 and greater than 0, it will be saving zero to invalid text file and giving two output statements which will be thank you for voting please exit point station directed by an officer now these codes will be delayed by three seconds so every three seconds it will be printing the user interface over and over again for every voter that comes now we will go to each party if the voter chooses the first party, which is APU AFC, they will gain one vote, which is represented by the integer one, and will be saved to its respective party file, which is APU AFC.txt. If the voter does not choose the first party, and if that party doesn't have any votes, zero will be saved to that party text file. And the same goes for the second party, the third party, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth party. Now I'll run these codes to show you. Now when I run this, it is showing the user interface will be shown to the voter. So I will choose the first party gives the output and delayed by three seconds as you can see it comes up again I will choose the first party again it is delayed by three seconds and it comes up again now if I choose the second party a vote will be saved for their party and the same goes for the other seven parties Okay, I will now show you the text files which the votes are saved in for each respective party. I chose the first party twice, so the votes are two, which is saved to this party. The same goes for every other party. I voted for this party once, and it shows one vote has been saved to this party. 
Now this is the first half of this project. Now we will go into our next program. We should total the parties and print them to screen. So I shall stop this and run the other program. Now when I run the program, it shows the parties and the total for each respective party. Also, we don't have any invalid entries because valid keys were entered. Now, if we were to enter invalid keys such as 10, 11, or keys less than 1, which would be 0, it will be showing that your entry is invalid and save those invalid entries to an invalid text file. Now if you are run to if you were to run sorry the total votes program again it will print the total parties votes and also the invalid entries in which we had six invalid entries. Thank you. And this was an insight on our project, automated voting system. Goodbye.